I just wanted to come on and record a quick thank you to all of the people, the more than 100 people who contributed to our crowdfunder so far and to my new legs. I can't wait. They're going to be complete life changers for me. I wanted to also make it clear that I'm going to make sure that I pay it forward. All the support that I'm getting, I'm going to use to support others in the future that find themselves in a similar position with mobility issues. I've been speaking to other uh, Exosim users, wearers, uh, about how they've done this in the past. And one of those is Scott Davidson, who's been talking not only about how he's managed to adapt uh, to the legs, uh, but also how to support others in a similar situation. Now, your story, your story is where it gets really interesting. You've, you've got a story right now where you've had, you've lost your best mate. You've had a traumatic accident in that process. You've had a six month road afterwards where everything's a blur and now you're rebuilding an entire life. And your goal is to get back up there. You want to do it at the highest level possible. The devices we wear, these exosims will help make that possible. Yeah, it will be different. You're going to have to adapt and do things a little bit different, but it will make it possible for you to get back up there and do exactly what you want to do with your life, which is bringing that message of conservation and doing it in a dynamic way. That's the best story of all is a redemption story like that. Well, you're here right now after something so big, so devastatingly big, and now you have all these obstacles. You've got, I mean, I've seen your legs. You've got grafting going on. You've got swelling here and there. You've got a lot of things that you've got to navigate. But as you navigate those things, and as people see you go through each of those obstacles, they're going to believe that it's possible to do hard things based on your story. Everybody likes the ability to know that I witnessed that person do hard things. Maybe I can do the same thing too. I've also been speaking to Alma, who's gone from being fairly immobile in the house uh, to now being able to go outside and hike uh, in the mountains with her kids. Complete life changer about adapting to um, wearing the exosims. You know, I'm a younger lady and uh, Ryan did ask me, he, like the first day, he's like, oh, are you going to be okay? And I'm like, uh, what do you mean? Like, you know, I'm going to be okay. I guess he was concerned that I was going to feel self-conscious about how my brace appeared um. when I was wearing it. And I was like, oh, me? Like, no, I, I don't care for stuff like that. Like, that's <laughs> not my, like, I'm not that person. Like, thanks for your concern, but I'm not that person. I don't care at all. I'm going to be showing this off. Yeah. On the contrary, <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I don't, I don't care. But it, I find that like a lot of people don't notice it. I wear leggings, and then, and so I wear my leggings underneath my brace. I mean, there's going to be some fashion adjustments as well. <laughs> <laughs> you just roll with it. Just roll with it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're so close now. And if anybody wants to follow my journey as I try and adapt to these new legs, then we'll be sure to share everything through our social media and YouTube channel.